Thank you. New at noon, it's a busy day in downtown Norfolk. Thousands of cruise passengers are making their way through the city after the Royal Caribbean Vision of the Seas arrived this morning. Now, that's the second ship to dock in Norfolk following the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. Casey Baylor is live in Norfolk as the ship is set to take off again. Casey, what are you seeing? I see a lot of folks out there. Eugene, it's a lot of people out here, and if you're out in the downtown area and you're trying to figure out why it's so crowded and congested, congested, this is why. Take a look behind me. You can see as many people are trying to get off the Royal Caribbean vision of the seas, more people are getting on it. Now, this morning, we watched as hundreds of people got off of this ship, and then they headed on to a bus straight to Baltimore. Early Thursday morning, Royal Caribbean Vision of the Seas traveled down the Elizabeth River in Norfolk, docking at the Half Moon Cruise Terminal around 445. Throughout the morning, crews set up and buses parked around Nauticus, preparing for the passengers to disembark. Overall, it was great. We had a really good time. The ports were good. Entertainment was very good. The entertainment was really Food good. Food was good. Food was good. Was excellent. So it, it was good. The cruise ship left out of Baltimore, and passengers say they spent the last 12 days away. St. Croix, St. Lucia, Barbados. But Lucille Taylor says she's ready to come home. Wonderful. 12 days was long, my first 12-day trip. While at sea, they heard about a cargo ship crashing into the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore last week. And I was worried about a little worried about it. I took a picture when we pulled out just to let my family know I'm on the ship and I realized the bridge is right behind me in my picture. And I just had to call to make sure my son was okay because he works in Baltimore. In the middle of their journey, cruise line executives decided to reroute the ship to Norfolk. According to Nauticus, roughly 2,200 people got off the ship throughout the morning. The cruise line provided buses to take passengers back to Baltimore. I just appreciate how well Royal has worked and how, how exceedingly wonderful Norfolk has been. Now, it's important to know and to mention that the people, the passengers that came in this morning, they were supposed to be gone by 11 a.m. Again, they're still trying to get on those buses back to Baltimore now. The group of outgoing passengers are going to continue boarding until 4.30 this afternoon. We're told by Nauticus about 2,200 people are heading on the ship's next journey out to sea. We're live in Norfolk. I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News Now. All right, Casey, thank you. Hopefully things go smoothly for all of them. We're told Royal Caribbean Vision of the Seas is expected to set sail at 5 p.